Hello guys, welcome back to Chasing Infinity. This is Adarsh and today we are going to see how to build a linear regression model uh, using the least squares method. We will first see how the algorithm works and then we'll implement it from scratch. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's start. So what is linear regression? In statistics, linear regression is a linear approach to modeling the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. So in the case of one independent variable, it's called simple linear regression. For more than one independent variable, the process is called multiple linear regression. We'll be dealing with simple linear regression in this tutorial. And if you're interested in multiple linear regression, you should subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting tutorials on that soon. Now let X be the independent variable and Y be the dependent variable. We will define a relationship between these two variables using the equation Y equal to MX plus C. So this is the equation for a line that you studied in high school and today we'll be using this equation to train our model uh, with the given data set and predict the value of y for any given value of x. So these uh, points, blue points that you see is the input data and this line is our regression line. So what we'll do is we'll find the value of M and C for this line so that the error is minimum. So basically we'll be trying to fit this line in such a way that it, it is at the least distance from each and every point on this graph, right? So basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to minimize the error. So to minimize the error, we actually need a way to calculate the error in the first place. So a loss function in machine learning is simply a measure of how different the predicted value is from the actual value. So the loss function is actually our error. And today to calculate it, we'll be using the quadratic loss function. So in our given data, these points are the actual values. And like I said, this line is our prediction. We will be calculating the difference between the actual value and the predicted value for any given value of x. So that is y minus p for any given value of x. Then what we do is we square this difference so that we do not have any negative values and we'll find the square of these differences for each and every point and add them all up and that will be our loss or error. And now that we've determined the error or loss, the only thing left to do is to minimize it. And this is done by finding the partial derivative of L, our loss function, and equating it to zero, and then finding an expression for M and C. And uh, when we do the math, we are left with these equations. Here, X bar is the mean of all the values in our input X, and Y bar is the mean of all the values in our desired output Y. So this is it, this is the algorithm, this is how the least square method works. It's really simple. So now let's implement this in Python. We'll be tackling this problem in three steps. Uh, the first step is pre-processing the input data. Second step is building the model. And in the third step, we'll be making the predictions. And I've reported pandas. Uh, this because our input data is in CSV for format and we'll be using this to read it. I've also imported NumPy. Uh, this is to make our calculations easier. And also matplotlib so that we can visualize our data. So let's run the cell. Let's see what, how our input data looks like. Inside our data, we have two columns. So this will be our input X and this will be our desired output Y. So now let's say data is equal to. Now let's get the values of X. So X is equal to. So we've used this method ILOG to get all the rows from the first column that is index zero, right? So similarly for y, we'll get all the rows from the second column that is index one. Now that we have our input data, let's see how it looks like. So let's plot this data using matplotlib. So now let's uh, run the cell. To run you press control and enter. So this is what our input data looks like. So now let's build our model. So if you remember in the equation for M and C, uh, we require the mean. So let's find that first. So let's call it X. Now let's declare a variable for the numerator and denominator. So let's say numerator is equal to zero, denominator is equal to zero. Now let's uh, define a for loop to simulate the sigma function. Now, since we need to sum up all the values, let's say numerator 
plus equal to the equation that we saw in the numerator that is ith value of x minus x mean multiplied by the ith value of y minus the mean of y okay similarly let's write the equation for the denominator so this is i value of x minus the mean of x and we need to square this so now we have uh, simulated the sigma function and found the numerator and denominator now let's uh, find the value of m all we need to do is divide the numerator by the denominator and the value of c is y mean m times x mean now let's uh, print out the value of m and c now let's run this and see okay so this is the value of m and this is the value of c we'll substitute this in the equation y equal to mx plus c to plot the line which will be a regression line okay so let's make the predictions now so to make the prediction all we do is we'll make a new variable called y pred okay the predictions of y and simply write the equation m times x plus c so since we are using numpy we will be left with an array similar to y which will have this value for each and every value of x let's uh, see our predictions let's uh, visualize it so this will be our actual values and this will be the predicted values and which will be in the color red okay let's run this and see okay so it worked the points you see in blue are the actual values and the points you see in red are the predicted values. So this line that you see is the best fitting line or, or regression line. So uh, you can see for this value of x, this is the actual value and this is our predicted value. So accuracy won't be too much when compared to other machine learning models because it's simply a straight line and we are trying our best to fit it into the given data set. So now uh, since we've used a scatter plot, you can see the the line is in the form of points now if you wanted to uh, see the regression line we need to take the leftmost point and rightmost point and draw a line so the leftmost point uh, will be the minimum in x and y and the rightmost point will be the maximum in x and y not y sorry y predicted okay so now let's uh, try and see the regression line and let's change the scatter to plot and there you go we have the regression line. So you can use linear regression and make predictions for any data set that you want. Simply uh, import your data here and change the corresponding columns. So you can find this code on GitHub or, or if you want you can check out the written version of this tutorial on Medium. I'll link the links in the description. And if you have any questions, problems or suggestions, please leave them in the comments or you can email me. So I hope you learned something new from this video today and if you did, do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I'll see you in the next video.